Ah, good old Far Rockaway. The Rockaways in Queens on the Rockaway Peninsula. Beautiful. All right, gentleman's got, I don't know, he scheduled a service call because he wants help with his thermostat. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right. And he only wanted Mikey Pipes. <laughs> and he's gonna get Peter Pan too. He's gonna get us both. I'm stopping at no stop sign, look at this. All right, let's go see what's going on and let's help this guy out. And maybe get some footage along the way. You don't even need a hoodie today. So So if you set the thermostat to 70, it never gets to 70, or? Um, well, it don't feel like it. Don't feel like it. Right, it don't feel like it reached to 70. Okay. Um, but today, last night, it got real hot. My wife turned it up. We woke up because the temperature is getting warmer. Yep. But usually, it's not that bad. If it's not that bad, it's usually when the temperature drops like 20 degrees, it feel like it can't. And how long has it been going on for? That was about two years. How long have you lived here? Uh, from 95. Okay, so wow. Right. Deep what what, what happened two years ago? That, oh, all of a sudden it started being a problem or um, maybe did you change something? Was something done on the boiler? Was the only surf? thing I uh, changed, I put on, my wife put on that nest. You got a nest that. two years ago. Well, it's, it's still working. It takes I hear you. No, no, I hear you. So I don't know how maybe it's, you know, setting. All right, let's see, let's see the boiler. Okay. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, okay. So, like, uh, right, the massive plaza, nice Yeah. <laughs> my son put a bathroom in last summer. So, those were, this is for the, my godfather apartment. Okay. And this is for us. So, upstairs is the problem? Yes. Because, like, when I feel this tight, you know, and stuff, it's warm. Even though he's turned to that. No, it's okay. All right, now it's set for 180. Economy is set in the middle. Temperature, pressure is okay. And you have... Okay, so as I said, let me get somebody in here before I... So these are the honey wells. With the terminal blocks on them. You don't see them that often. And you have two thermostats? Yes. One on the top floor. And they're both problems or just... Well, what I did was when it felt like it was working is when we turned the one upstairs off. Okay. And then... It's getting heat. All right, so do me a favor. The, the floor that you don't have, or it's not, with a floor where it's not working properly, I want you to raise the temperature up on that. And the other one, I want to make sure that's off. It's off already. So okay. Just raise the temperature. Just make sure it's off, off, though. The okay. thermostat's set to off, and let's raise the, the floor, the thermostat, which you, that you sense is a problem. Because you said the top floor is fine, right? No. No? No, it wasn't getting heat neither. So the set, and they're both nests? The other one is the Honeywell. That's where we went to the nest. I was going to order the next nest to put it in the kitchen order. Okay. So the top floor ha does not have a nest? It does. It, no, it doesn't have has a Honeywell thermostat. Has a Honeywell. And that one's worse than the second floor? Um, well, it's hard to say because my daughter, she gets hot up there sometimes. So I don't know if it's... <laughs> These damn women. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, for, for me, I don't... I, if, if, if it's a little cold, I put on a sweater. I put on a hoodie. You know, I'm, I'm a soldier. Where is the problem? Are both floors a problem? Um, put it like this. Uh, heat do come sometime or when it happens. So I thought maybe it was a programming issue. You know, my wife doing the programming wrong or stuff yeah. like that. 
when it come off, when it turns on and stuff like that. So I, I, I wasn't sure, so I was getting frustrated. I gotta get somebody. And then I saw that video when you went to the basement to a, a Wilmington lady and the way you was explaining it and stuff like that. And I'm in for instruction with a customer, customer service. So okay. Like that. That's it. I'm gonna call these guys. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's turn up the nest. All right, all right. All right. All right. I'm trying to get like the straightforward answer from him. It's like, oh, the second floor. Oh, it's the washing machine. Um, leaning towards zone valve issues and, and, and switch not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So we're going to figure that out right now. That's why I want him to have turn off both, you know, this top floor thermostat and then only turn on the second floor, the, the nest one and see. And so it works. So as you could see, that lever, right? energized and now oh it's not actually did i just hear something here yeah i think i heard something hold on but both zone valves are not open hold on this thing is running how the hell did this happen Boiler is on, but the zone valves the zone valves the zone valves are shot. See that? See if I force it. And that one too. You have two dead zone valves. You can control that with your Nest, can't you? With your, th with your phone, no? Ah, it's not my wife. Ah, it's not your house, it's her house. Ah, almost going into all that internet stuff, all that. <laughs> you turned on the second floor thermos. No, I turned, that's, that's. Yeah, that's I know, this is driving me crazy, the wash and dryer. Yeah. You turned on the second floor thermostat. No, I turned on the, yeah, the second floor thermostat. Yes. Something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you have to. You, you know, it's, it's all good. We can have fun, but I like to get like just concrete information because right. knowledge right. is power. And the more right. knowledge I have, right. I can make a diagnosis better. Oh, sorry. You sorry. turned on the second floor the thermostat, thermostat yeah. like I asked you to do. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Third floor is not on. Right. You have these two zone valves, and neither one act is open right now. Okay. It looked like it was partially open, but I pushed. Like it doesn't even, like these zone valves are both shot. And I think, and they weren't changed when they, when you changed your boiler. No. You said your godfather plays with this, right? No, 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 no. he was like checking it. Oh, okay. Good. They you need, need okay, we're going to need to do, okay. Now I want you to turn off the second floor thermostat and turn on the third floor thermostat. All right. I want to see if there's any difference here. All right, so I had him turn off second floor thermostat and turn on third floor thermostat, but nothing. Shot. This zone valve is kaput. This old Honeywell and this one as well. They're both shot. See, so I pushed, manually tried to force this one open, mm -hmm. right? But you see how the lever is stuck there? And if I were to go like that, see how she disengages? Yeah. And to turn the boiler on, this end switch or this lever needs to push in that little nipple right there. Watch what happens when I push this in. Wait for it. Let's try this one. I just wanted to come back and give you an update and change it. As I turned this, I had turned it off when I turned the heat on. And then it, it, the, the temperature come up, and then when I press the temperature to turn it up, this went out. So I'm thinking it's the batteries. So that's what I'm looking for, looking for batteries. Okay. So I wanted to give you all an update. Gotcha. And let you see it so far. You one. have, uh, we have we have two defective zone valves, for, okay. for starters. Okay. And we have to do some wiring changes here. Okay. Because you, um, you turned on your second floor thermostat. 
the zone valve end switch never energized, never energized, and yeah. it should have, but it didn't, and the boiler still turned on anyway. So we're right. work. there's a lot of weird, funky stuff going on with these two boilers, but what I've determined is that they're wired together, and this zone valve here does something to this boiler. I had given him a price to replace both zone valves, and he's kind of like, oh, that much money? I'm like, let me make this crystal clear. I am not the cheapest, and I'm probably one of the most expensive guys that you can call. In 15 minutes or less, I can save you 15% on your car insurance. <laughs> no, but I said, listen, I am very well qualified, and I diagnose your problem in less than 10 minutes. And make no question about it, is that those two zone valves need to be replaced. And then I started putzing around, and when I press in the end switch here, watch. See that? Yeah. By pushing in the end switch on this zone valve. Shit. I'm about to curse. Good thing I didn't. Ships messed up. So I gave him a price, and then I realized this. And I'm like, by the way, buddy, the price I gave you just went up. Was, what do you mean? And I showed him. But I just showed you. Ah, oh, it's another abortion. All right. So what we're going to do is I've determined that these two wires right here are coming from my thermostat from my first floor. This, why this is going here to this other boiler, right? Like that? I, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just speechless. We have our low water cutoff. We're not going to disturb that. But we are going to take these two off. All right, we're going to cut these lines right here. Hold that. Get in there. Be a good be a good camera operator. Now, this, right? They're getting power for the low water cutoff from the other boiler. See? Because this is the low water cutoff. This is 24 volts. And they're taking power from the other boiler all the way over here. Oh, look at that. This is why you use Wago. See how the wire nut just broke off right there? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's... Let's isolate these systems the way they should be. There's no need to take power. Take, take from Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna give this thing 24 volts here instead. I hear you. All right, uh, Daniel, let me show you what I did. This, these two wires right here, are coming are coming from the thermostat on the first floor. Okay. All right, this is TT. It says labeled thermostat. Right. If you ever need to troubleshoot a boiler. And you don't forget about going to the thermostat. If I jump out the two black wires right here, mm -hmm. right, it'll fire the boiler. As long as everything here is fine. And if it fires up, then and your problem is no heat. You got to troubleshoot from here, therm to the thermostat. Okay. Yeah, sure. So they were stealing power from this other boiler to power the lower to cut off here, right? Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the green light is on. I just added two three conductor Wago lever connectors, the two twenty ones here, mm -hmm. to take. They already replaced this thermostat once before, but I just took, along the way, power from this thermostat, sorry, from this 40VA transformer, which is plenty for this and that, and gave this power. So now this boiler is completely separate from this one. Now I want to go to that thermostat on the first floor, jack up the thermostat. Maybe we should jack that up. I mean, like raise up the temperature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just don't jack it off. <laughs> okay. First floor thermostat is now on, and there's a call for heat, and we have the system turning on, All right? And we have pilot spark ignition, and we have ignition. This boiler is done. Yeah, because when I was look after I was looking on you guys, it says that not open. This is all clear. Okay. So, so but this right. Mm -hmm was there okay. this broke off we're gonna have to give you a new spill switch not a big deal okay. but if if the if the chimney should ever have a problem and there is what we call a positive draft mm -hmm. which means negative draft means the exhaust gases are going up the chimney mm -hmm. positive draft means you can't and it's going to want to come out of here because this is open this is hollow i can put okay. my hand in there okay. right because yeah, yeah. this is called a diverter okay. that's called a diverter okay. this is a diverter which is okay. not properly on yeah. this is prop kind of properly on but these are diverters okay. so this lets air because it's an atmospheric burning system what that means is that the the 
the um, air pressure that's in you know in life and outside here it's the same pressure it's 21 21.3 percent but that pressure is needed for a negative draft and if there's ever a problem with the chimney or let's say it's clogged, bird's nest, the exhaust gases will come out. Okay. And if the exhaust gases contain high, high amounts of carbon monoxide, mm -hmm. someone could die. Okay. Okay. And this is called a blocked vent switch or a spill switch. Mm -hmm. The gases are spilling out, which sense that temperature and turn the boiler off okay. until you reset it. There's a little button right there. Okay. Okay. All right, but we'll change that. I basically removed all the wiring here. This is coming from my thermostats. This is the transformer, and here is my low water cutoff. We're going to rewire all that right after replacing these two zone valves. Now, these two screws, there's a screw here and there's a screw there. If I take those two screws out, this uh, zone valve head will pop off the body. So I'm going to do that on both. All right. New zone valve is in, and watch the world of difference. See? Now it's closed. So let's take out the other one. Come on. Where are you? There we are. And if you had four screws here holding the zone valve head to the body, you're going to have to drain the whole boiler down and replace the body too. I'm just going to wiggle this out. So that's the garbage one. And I'm not gonna touch, because it's manually open right now, I'm not gonna touch that. Let's let that be for right now. But wanna make sure the surface is nice and clean, which it is. And we're going to position the new one in like that. And now we're gonna tighten those screws that are on the new zone valve to the body. So. There's one, and now the other is right here. Okay. So now they're both secure. And we're gonna release the manual open and confirm that she moves freely, which she does like that. Okay. There's your little end switch right there. When that lever is powered, pushes in that end switch, which then fires the boiler. All right, the next part of the job is determining which wires do what here. We have two thermostats, and this is what I'm working with. This is what I'm working with right here. It's the only thermostat wire I have that comes down to this boiler. So I have my R and W jumped out on the second floor thermostat. And we're going to see where we have continuity. Okay. Let's find continuity. Continuity. You would ask what continuity is, right? Mm -hmm. Continuity is a closed circuit. Right now, I have it on continuity. When I touch these two together, I have a closed circuit, right? If I let it go, I have an open circuit. Here are the four wires I'm working with for the thermostat. Now, I just said that the thermostat on the second floor, I took off the wall and I jumped out R and W, which were red and green up there, and I, I jumped those two out, and now I'm trying to find out which two wires are closed and which where do I have continuity. So... Nothing there. Let's go red to yellow there, right? And then yellow, oh, yellow to brown. Yellow to red, no, yellow to white, no. So yellow to brown is a closed circuit. I want you to go to that, take off that wire nut and separate those two wires, and then I won't have continuity anymore. Okay. Okay, we removed the jumper or the wire nut with the R and W, and now I have OL, which is open line across yellow and brown. So I know my yellow and brown is now my second floor thermostat. And just so Peter Pan gets some experience, he is gonna do it himself. Yellow and brown 
and see if we have continuity. And what does it say? No, we don't. What does it say on there, though? Zero L. Well, we know what that stands for? Closed circuit. Is it a closed circuit? No. What is it? Open. Yes. Okay. So that OL stands for open line. Oh, okay, okay. All right, just remove the wires. Mm -hmm. It still says OL, right? Touch them together now. Oh, okay, okay. You know, the, the, so if it changes, we have... Yes. Closed. And then the beep, too, that you have the audible confirmation that you have a closed circuit or you have continuity. So we know that the yellow and brown wires are for the second floor thermostat. If you want, you can put the thermostat. If you can, put the thermostat back on the wall. Okay. You think you can handle that? Do you remember how I took it off? Yes. And then leave the wires the way they are? And connect it. Connect RH, mm -hmm. right, for one wire. Uh, make it the, the R. Let's make that the uh, yellow wire. Yellow wire. No, sorry. Maybe, oh, damn. We'll figure it out. <laughs> because then, yeah, there's somewhere between here and there, there's a, there's a splice. Change, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now it's time to wire. This is going to be my 24 volts. All right. These are my thermostats. Here's my TT, the end switch. All right. And here are my two zone valves. It's very, very simple. Now, when I first started doing hydronics and the, for one of the first service calls I went on, no heat call, the boiler, I believe it was at a church, had multiple zone valves, and I literally was like, I don't know what's wrong with this. <laughs> so I called up my boss. I'm like, listen, I don't know what's wrong. And he's like, you got zone valves there? I was like, yeah. And I was like, well, you got to figure it out. Let's talk to Mike. Hi, Mike. Sorry, that was Mike. He went on a Navy and CH yesterday. A CH model, uh -huh. a 10 year old, I think it's nine years old. And they just gave him this authorization to replace it. Cool. Yeah, whatever. Um, all right, I use this diagram right here to help me understand how zone valve wiring works. Because like I was just explaining, first time, first one of the first jobs I went on doing a heating service call years, years, years ago, zone valves, and I had no idea how to fire up the boiler. I had no idea what an end switch was. I had no idea about anything. All I knew was that I knew pressure and pressure, pressure and temperature. I knew, you know, relays and things like that, but I had no idea what these were. So I called my boss and he sent someone over and he explained to me, he's like, boom, we'll push it in. All right, and then fire up the boiler. I was like, oh, you had a bad zone valve. But because they were dying one by one by one, Right, as long as one thermostat was on, it didn't matter if this was dead or not, because the boiler still fired up, yeah. but the, the zone valve was still working. Here, just abortion here. This like, <laughs> they just really like wired this boiler to that boiler, whatever. But let's change these zone valves using this uh, direction right there. All right, I have yellow and blue coming off my transformer, white and red. TT thermostat, you know, that's the end switch. That's gonna turn the boiler on. We're gonna take this up to here. All right, so let me show what I did so far. I took a red wire from one zone valve, a red wire from the other zone valve, and I took one of the one of the TTs, which are going to end switch on the boiler, XX, and they go together on one way go, mm -hmm. you know, basically a wire nut, so three wires on one and three wires on the other. So now when either end switch were to Activate, the boiler's gonna turn on. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna turn this power on. All right. Mm -hmm. And we have power there. If I push on this end switch, something should happen. See that? The boiler comes on. All right, let's try the other one. Push that in. Same thing, the boiler comes on. See? We have to be careful here because we have 24 volts there from that transformer. So let's turn this back off. And now we're going to do the two thermostats. So far, so good? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> let's work on thermostat. First thing we're going to do is we have two yellow wires, right? Let's refer to the, the uh, picture here, right? So on our motor, we have motor, motor, transformer, right? Which is motor, motor, transformer. The other side of the transformer, right? We're going to pick up thermostat, thermostat. So one wire of each thermostat and the other remaining wire of the thermostat is gonna to go to the motor. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So this is going to go to thermo one thermostat mm -hmm. and then the other thermostat. And then, did I just mess up? No, I'm good. This wire goes to one thermostat 
and then this wire goes to one wire of each thermostat, right? Okay. The other opposite wire of that R, H, and W go to here. All right. So now we're going to take the thermostat, which is here, and connect it over. This is one of the reasons why I just hate zone valves, because the wiring just can, can never make it look pretty. Mm -hmm. You're going to be like, oh, Mike, what are those blue things right there? Well, these are called wire nuts. <laughs> um, I ordered more two wire, condu uh, two conductor Wagos yesterday. I'll have them today on Amazon. 100 of them are like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Not really a big deal. In my business, the price of material is insignificant in the total cost of the job. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Here is a Wago, right? Wago for two thermostats. I'm taking red and my other red, which I made yellow for the two thermostats, to blue, which is transformer, right? The other two wires, motor, motor. And that's all she wrote, folks. Now we're going to go to the thermostat. Actually, we can actually turn this bad boy on. All right, and we still got to rewire in the low water cutoff, but we're just going to, for now, just focus on this. That way you all can get a good understanding of it. Let me take a few more zip ties, make this, try to make this, this, put lipstick on this pig and try to make it look a little more pretty. I just sent Peter Pan to the thermostat and to told him to jump out the wires. And we're going to see if, if we're wired correctly, if this zone valve opens, right? And right now we have no resistance. And we have resistance, sorry. Watch what, watch what happens when he jumps those wires out. Let's wait for it. There it goes. See that? The zone valve motor has power, pushing that lever, pushing in the end switch. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. And why is this thing cranked all the way that high? God damn. I'll put that at 190. Okay. Look at that. I'm going to take the needle nose and trim off the rest of the ends of the zip ties. Look, Peter. Oh, wow. The motor got power. It's getting power right now. And closed. And fired up the boiler. Ah, you feel you accomplished something, right? All right, and all thanks to this diring, wiring diagram right there. You see? It's identical. What I just did there is identical. This is very helpful. If you want to pause, screenshot, or if you want me to send you this, you email me, Mike, at MikeyPipes.com, and I'll send you this diagram. Our first or second floor zone is fine, works perfectly. I just got to tighten up a little bit. Uh, it's open line. But this one's not working, so it's not gonna bite you. Touch it. Okay. Open. Touch two together. Touch them. Okay, so that works, but that doesn't. Now I remember in the while we were doing the wiring, there was one together. Let's see which one. Went to the was. truck to get this little piece of fragment wire. That black wire was TT, and it had I, just, I remember it having two wires on it, and it had red and yellow on it. And why, I don't really, I can't give you a definite answer, but our solution is right before us, which is this. And then we'll have continuity. So back down here, this wire and this wire were connected. But why, 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 why? Hmm, all right. We obviously have a short between here and there. I went, we went up to the the third floor attic, walk up attic, and just twist all the wires together, all right? Because we have something similar to this there. And in doing that, now we have continuity between red and white. So let's rehook up the brown and yellow to there, and then figure out which two wires are shorting. Let's turn on second floor thermostat, raise it up, mm -hmm. and make sure this one still works because we played with the wiring. And everything here is, I suspect everything. All right, so originally red and green, and don't ask why it's all the way up there. <laughs> it's literally all the way up there. <laughs> red and green were on 
R and W, but in all actuality, it is red and white. Because when I touch these two together, when I touch these two together, the zone valve motor gets power and closes the end switch. So now I have them jumped out. This thermostat is dead. Uh, it's over there. It spazzes out all the time. So these two are jumped out. I'm just going to visually confirm that the zone valve is powered and end switch is closed. All right, end switch is closed. And let's put the two covers on. And we'll make a label for each zone valve, second floor, third floor. All right, now I got my second and third floor labels. Compliments of my little label maker. Had that little bad boy for years, for years. And let's grab that. Let's go put this on the zone valves. You really ream that one open, huh? <laughs> what are you just going digging for you? Damn, that's a, that's a big hole. <laughs> you made yourself a big hole. Yeah, you have to cover it somehow. You got to cover it. Yeah. All right. Just not to leave you hanging, I wired in my low water cutoff. Yellow is for braking, right? So I wired that the TT right there, right? As you can see. Power, stole it from the transformer right there. She can handle it. Let's uh, jack up the temperature here a little bit. Fire this bad boy so we can do a combustion test. With the Testo 320. All right, there's, I hear there's a European branded Testo, a version of Testo, like not Testo, but it's a different, it starts with a W, I think, and it makes like a sick ass combustion analyzer. Really? I heard it, they were talking about it, my, my dinner with Bosch, when they, uh, we had the official, you know, sit down with Mikey Pipes, yeah. and I'm like, Testo, the guy laughs at me, like, <laughs> like I was like, like, he wanted to spit, like I spit in his face, like, like yo, like, what do you mean, what's wrong with Testo? I was like, yo. You guys see what we got over here in Europe. I'm like, really? You can yell. I was like, why don't you send me one? Like, send me a care package, right? Oh, yeah. When you send me the tractor trailer full of your Bosch stuff, send me your care package. Oh, yeah. okay. You know, it's coming. So we just sold yesterday that Navian. That becomes a singular. Already, we, we have to do the gas piping, but, you know, we're going to re, re uh, get rid of that indirect. But he's getting a singular. And the Navy guy is getting the, the Green Star. It's already confirmed, already booked, scheduled. And uh, yeah, that's first two. Green Star, singular. The compliments of Bosch. By the way, we love we love Bosch. And let's show support for Bosch. I want you in the comment section down below. I want you to hashtag love Bosch. Yes. All right, let's test combustion right there. Stick that in the hole. Do you know how to do this? You've been watching me, right? Yeah. You sure? Because I asked you to drill a hole for a combustion yeah, analysis and you ripped over, you ripped over a new one. Yeah, like, that's... damn, like, <laughs> damn, Peter Pan. Now, I know I always do it that way, but I have to hold it into position, but mm -hmm. the probe should be halfway okay. in the flue pipe. Gotcha. You didn't press, you didn't even press start yet. And hold that and hold it right there. Okay. And then let that heat up and see what kind of result. All right. We're just about done here. Let's put some graffiti on this bad boy. One handed. There we go. If you want any stickers, this is version two. This is my summer 2021 sticker. If you ain't testing, you're guessing. If you want any stickers, details in the description box down below. All right. There's my service tag. Today's date, new zone valves rewired. We got a little clean up though. Made it as nice and pretty as I can. Second floor, third floor. Third floor is still wired under together. I'm gonna visually show him that. Cause his thermostat's shot. And there's my combustion test results. And we're gonna cover that up with a little bit of silver tape. But other than that, we're done. Now, this boiler is completely independent from this one, the way it should be. Oh my God. All right. What'd you learn? Uh, stuff. Learned, yeah. Stuff. It's hard to it's hard to put in the words. Yeah, no. You learned stuff. It's all good. Yeah. All right. Let's clean up and then get right. upstairs. Originally, mm -hmm. the wa this thermostat was wired with red and green. Okay. That's how it was how this was set up. Okay. Right. Okay. And again, I didn't touch any of that until okay. there was a problem. 
Okay. So in, fi in finishing up, because we did the second floor first, now we're doing the third floor, okay. when I tried to turn on the thermostat, okay. which didn't work, but I just jumped out red and green, nothing happened downstairs. Okay. Nothing at all. Red and white are the right wires. Okay. okay. And right now, because they're wired on it okay. together, okay. it's running. Okay. And your peep will be pumping continuously. So I'm going to leave this wire nut off, okay. and you need to replace that thermostat. Okay, so if she, if she gets that... I'm going to use the same one, but my yes. wife wants that. Yeah. Just hook it up. Yes. As long as you get the same exact one, because it appears that those don't really need the, the common wire. You don't have common wire here. Okay. 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 And just be careful with the fire suppression system. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm surprised it's, they leave it out like that. Yeah. Yeah, and not like in a closet or something. He said, when I asked him, I thought that he said, yeah, they want it out because when they come to come check this, they hook up a hose here. Yes, correct. A lot of people do a lot of fake stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he said, you, you, you good to go. Yeah. He, you know, so that's, yeah. that's it. Good. All right. So there you go. So, and you'll wire that to a new thermostat, but this works. Okay. okay. What a beautiful day. It's 67 degrees. Hot. November 18th. Wow. Yesterday was 35 in the morning. Yeah. Today, 67 degrees. Wow, should have wore a short sleeve shirt today. Damn. Feels like a pool party. So we just left that sir. It feels like a pool party there, right? Yeah, I should turn the heat up on the on the pool. Go swimming tonight. So we just left that service call where again it's dispatched as customer needs help with thermostats, right? When in fact he needs help with his entire house. <laughs> you know, it's like wow, like really, like, and how they want I I know what they did. When they wired the two together, they were taking power from the transformer. It appeared to be, but why? Why was the control board on the other boiler, you know, play, you know, doing that? Uh, I don't know, whatever. But we spent a couple hours there, rewired both boilers, tested everything, and the only thing he needs to do is replace the thermos down in the third floor. And I, I probably could have pushed him. So hey, let's let's do that now. Let's take care of that for you now. But um, he was running out of money. <laughs> he ran out of money. <laughs> I had to call his money. <laughs> quality, good quality isn't cheap, and cheap isn't good quality. You get what you pay for. All right. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. How did I? How did I do? And if you want some stickers like that guy, I just put on his boiler. There it is, Mikey Pipes. He, details in the description box down below. As long as we got hats, we got long sleeve shirts, pre order them. They're coming. The hats, they're coming pre ordered. They're going to be a washed gray, light gray with the embroidery. Flex fit. You're going to love it. Details in the description box down below. And if you guys want any stickers, you want pens, any kind of pipe doctor paraphernalia, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Or check out the description box down below for details. Read that first before you email me, all right? Be well. God bless. Stay safe.